Rockies into the final 20 minutes, trailing 4-3, to three, but tied the game up six minutes into the final period as Mike Christie took a perfect pass from Ron Androff at the crease and easily put it in the net. A short time later, St. Louis regained the lead as Gary Unger scored his 23rd goal of the season. It came on a power play as Unger deflected Barry Gibbs' shot from the point. But the Rockies were to come back again and with just three minutes remaining, Randy Pierce slammed the puck past Blues goalie Phil Meir to gain the tie. The point the Rockies gained by the tie puts them just one point behind Vancouver for second place in the Smythe division. John Armanillo, Channel 4 Sports. from the sold-out spectrum. Prism Sports presents Stanley Cup Playoff Hockey. Tonight, the Philadelphia Flyers against the Colorado Rockies. We're doing as we're looking at Bernie Perrant, the Flyers goaltender. You see the average there, 2.22. Led the National Hockey League in shutouts with seven and had the fewest losses among goaltenders who played a proportionate share greater than the backup goaltender. That fan has been zapped with a souvenir, Raymond. Well, <laughs> tough old. Doug Fazell. 40-footer, takes off, up in the air. Clark flails away. Knocked down by Ochar. Still in the zone by Bob Daly. McLeish keeps it in the zone as super play. McLeish controls. Leach is free in the crease area. McLeish is shot. And Fazell hangs on. Great effort there, Raymond, as Flyers kept it in the zone. Tinder Chuck to take the draw with Dennis DuPerry. To the right of goaltender Bernie Perron, who has kicked aside all six Rocky shots on goal. Right under the sticker, Rick McLeish, with the Flyers of the man down. McLeish just flips it into the zone, gives way to Don Seleski. John Van Boxmeer behind goaltender Doug Favell as the wingers fan out. Off to center iceman Dennis Dupere to Paymont. Seleski gets stick on it. Dupere has to come back to Van Boxmeer, but quickly gets it over to Barry Beck. Coming one on two over the line, still on side. Into DePerry, his shot scores! 1 1 hockey game. Dennis DePerry ties it at one. Power play, Colorado Rockies. Sailing down that left wing, looks for Billy Barber onto his stick. His shot, home for the front. Cabell gets it up in the air, poked into the corner. It is Billy Barber to turn around, can't get the shot off. Comes all the way back to clock the left point. 35 footer, Cabell gloves save as his stick was out of his hands. Whew. Well, the Colorado Rockies are getting extremely good goaltending from goaltender Doug Favell. Laden for Philadelphia, off the left wing to Bill Barber, pulls it back from a Hearn, stick handles and drops it off for Tom Bladen. Good pressure here at the moment by the Colorado Rockies. Clark gets back to Spruce, give and go, shot, scores, tied 2-2, two, two. good setup, Hudson makes it two. What a nifty move by the Rockies as they pressured Philadelphia and the Clark Barber and Holmgren line, and it is 2-2. Off to Reggie Leach, poked into the corner. But there's Kevin McCarthy as the Colorado Rockies are really pressing Philadelphia. And finally, it is Ross Lonsbury losing control. The Rockies coming back. Shot, Pierce went wide. Comes back to Barry Beck. Into the corner. Beck then should have taken the shot. McCarthy will be happy with a faceoff, and that's what... 15 seconds gone, face off in the Rocky zone, back to Jimmy Watson, doesn't have a shot, but gets one up in the air, knocked down by Mel Bridgman, looking to turn around, through for Bell, hanging on, goal, oh, the run! Mel Bridgman, Philadelphia, it's won in overtime! Great, well, the Flyers... In the East tonight, the Rangers won in overtime. 4-3 over Buffalo. Murdoch got the winner. There were two goals disallowed. There was a baby born in Madison Square Garden tonight. And Philadelphia won. Colorado won. And here's another final. Detroit over Atlanta. 3-2. to two. Detroit advances into the quarterfinals. On the scoreboard, Philadelphia has moved in front of Colorado. 2-1 to one in the third. Celestia has scored. 18 minutes left to play. And a look at what happened earlier tonight. The Rangers over Buffalo. 4-3. to three. They'll have a deciding game Saturday night. Detroit ousted Atlanta with a 3-2 victory, and Philadelphia put Colorado on the sidelines. 3-1.
Philadelphia swept Colorado, but they didn't have an easy time doing it. I didn't expect they would either. Colorado, first of all, plays very strongly at home, and they've got the ki uh, type of team that uh, works all the time. And Philadelphia was having a few problems scoring goals. They were concerned about their play. Colorado was going in with a lot of enthusiasm at that time of the year, which is very important. And you're going in the underdog, which you like to go in, because uh, people aren't expecting too much from you, so you're playing with less pressure than normally you would have going into the playoffs. You're in a position to upset a team. Philadelphia, of course, had to be pressing. They had to be down somewhat because they finally lost their division championship to the Islanders. They were uh, unseated. So it gave Colorado the chance for an upset, especially in that first game. They came close to doing it, but the strength of the Flyers carried them through. And now, uh, as you know, they're going to move on.